Don't let these people talk you out of leaving. You, you'll find yourself in a position where they, you're, they're crying. Sometimes they're begging. You left this person alone and now they're begging to come back. They're begging to come back. The thing is, you, when you let these people come back, you're missing out on the opportunity to meet someone out there that can be a blessing to you. Every time you allow these people to come back into your life, you're stagnating yourself. You're stagnating your growth. You're stagnating where you can go in life. And you're stagnating a life that you can be enjoying with someone else. That's better for you. with another exciting video. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while doing videos like this. Well, today I want to interact with you guys because the title for today is going to be Don't let them take your blessings away. You are a blessing. See, I know many of us out here, you know, we've been in situations where we've been in relationships and Let's just say there's people that come along through our journey and we tend to put these people over, push these people over. Sometimes those people can actually be a blessing in disguise. We put up with, let's just say, negative or unhealthy relationships sometimes because we feel like, well, you know, it's, it's wrong to leave who I'm with for someone else or we say we make up things in our mind to say uh, you know even though this person is a bad person you know I, I, I gotta stick with this you know this is what loyalty means but let me tell you something sometimes your loyalty can actually end up being your own demise sometimes by you putting up and staying long you're actually doing more damage than good there's an image I seen on Facebook once in the, in, the, in, the, in, the, in this Facebook uh, post that I've seen. It was actually a, a, a meme and it was a person holding it was a person holding on to someone while the person had anchors on their legs and a whole bunch of things that was weighing them down at the edge of a cliff. So let's just say you have someone on the edge of the cliff and you're holding someone up, you're holding someone's hand, but that person has a whole bunch of, you know, uh, let's just say metallic items on them that's weighing them down. So put yourself in that scenario at times, you know, especially for you dudes you, you individuals doing love magic out here to basically bring someone back that you know that you have no business working on. You know, meaning, let's just say you're dealing with someone that's trash. They're utter trash. They don't motivate you. They don't inspire you. But because you're so uh, caught up in the emotions, you don't want to be lonely. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to go out there and give someone else a chance. You deal with what you have. And in those situations, you wake up in the morning, you hate the person, you just can't stand the person. You know, you know. basically, when you're in these situations, you're unhealthy. And this, these situations here, when you're trying to bind yourself or keep yourself in a situation with an individual that's not good for you, you begin to weigh your own life down. Because what begins to happen when you leave these toxic relationships alone? You begin to see that your life begins to progress and move forward. Sometimes these people can be anchors that weigh you down. You are a blessing. Sometimes another person can be a blessing to you as well because they show you what you deserve. Sometimes you look at the, the person that comes along in your relationship and you say, no, I'm not involved. But that person can be a motivation to you to say, well, you know what? You deserve better than what you're getting. For you women out here, you know, you're in a situation, you know, you see the guy come out of nowhere, he's, you know, he's, he's that individual. And you say, you know what, I'm in a relationship, but you know, I'm not going to deal with that. But you know one thing in that situation is that many people miss out on greatness because they prefer to remain loyal to someone that's not loyal to them. Many people give their loyalty to people that's not loyal to them. You are. Don't let them take your blessing away. 
You know, you'll say, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to leave this person, I'm not going to leave this person, but that person is causing you a lot of grief, a lot of pain. Don't let that person take your blessing away because that person who opens the door for you, that person who gives you a lift or that person who offers to give you a lift, that person can be your blessing. But you got that negative person in your mind constantly telling you, you know, that you know you're you know you're not good enough or you know this and that. They're always complaining. And you rather deal with that than give the new person a chance. And this is why I say to people that are doing binding spells and this is, you know, binding spells, love spells, and things of that nature. Remain flexible. Don't close all your doors because what, what you're dealing with an unhealthy relationship or an un unhealthy situation, you could be missing out on something that's better for you. And for you people out there doing work ought to keep an individual. And this is not, I'm not knocking that practice. I'm just saying keep your opportunities open. Do not close, you know, do not close the door for growth. There's always room for growth, especially if it's needed. If that person can step into your life and change your life for the better, and you can also do the same. So when you see these people coming around, sometimes it's not best to write these people off, especially if you're dealing with an unhealthy relationship. Look at your life and ask yourself, are you happy? Because many of us have done this. We have been in unfortunate situations. We have put ourselves in binding situations, whether it's with, uh, whether it's with magic or just, nat or just on a natural level. We have kept ourselves in situations that have hindered our growth. And then we see someone else come along that could be that special one and we let them go by. It is until we leave our situation that we realize that, oh my gosh, that was the person for me. Don't let these people take your blessing away. And remember, you are a blessing.